Hey guys, Preach here. In this video, we're going to create this toggle animation in Figma. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up the original file and we're going to create a duplicate of this. So it's very easy. You're going to create a very first frame, which is going to be the start frame. So let's rename it to red number one. And we're going to use the rectangle tool in order to create the base for the toggle. Now let's center this so that it's all nice and tidy. And we're going to add a rounded corner radius of 300 so that it's going to be fully rounded on its side. And after that, we're going to simply copy this and create a smaller version, which is going to be the inner circle so we're going to match uh, the width and the height and uh, let's also make this uh, circle white and uh, at this point uh, let's just make it just a little bit smaller and bring it here on the far left of the toggle so this is going to be the first one and uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to change uh, the background color to a red similar to the one that we previously used the circle is going to be full white and we're going to use exactly the same red for the toggle and the only difference being that we're going to add a stroke which is going to be on the outside and we're going to increase the stroke size to say 15 pixels and here we have our very first uh, uh, toggle now, the very next thing that we're going to do is we're going to use Shift plus the Option Alt key in order to create a duplicate. And we are going to make this uh, um, green instead. So let's also change the background of this to green. And we're going to move the toggle um, on the far right. And now in order to avoid uh, having to, to create multiple prototypes, uh, simply going to delete uh, the original since uh, we already started this from scratch. And I'm going to change this uh, second artboard to green. Now at this point, uh, we're going to simply group uh, these toggle elements. And uh, the reason being is uh, since we're going to add uh, prototyping features, so we want these to be all in uh, two separated groups. Now, here comes the fun part. Let's uh, go under the prototype section and uh, we are going to simply click and uh, drag this uh, arrow on uh, to the very next uh, um, frame. And uh, we are going to simply leave this on click, navigate to the second frame. And we're going to use uh, the smart animate option. And what this is going to allow us to do is to create this nice animation back and forth if we select the other one and then we basically have the same applied. So if we go over here and click on play, you're going to see that we are on the very first artboard and at the moment they click on the toggle, it's going to move to the very next one. There's just an issue here with the animate with the animation so for some reason the <laughs> the animation is essentially um going uh, in this way so let's actually make it instance uh for the time being as you can see if it's instant it's going to be immediately uh if uh, you use the smart animate uh, and it's not working is the reason being is that uh, the two groups uh, have separate names so if uh, we go back and we rename the second one to group one, just like the on the first one, you can see that now the animation is working fine. So just be aware of having exactly the same group names between the frames if you want to have the smart animate to work. So this is pretty much it for this video. Hope it was helpful. And I want to remind you that on my channel, I have over a hundred videos uh, on uh, Figma tutorials and uh, many more on UI UX design in general. So feel free to check them out and I'll see you in the very next video.